Back on the Metro Path. How are you guys going out there? Thanks for coming back. Before we start, click on the link. Get my free Candida shopping report if you haven't already got it. It's a pretty cool handout I put together years ago and many patients have benefited from that. <clears throat> Let's talk about garlic and bacteria. Many websites you look at actually good at bashing poor old garlic and saying that it kills all the good bacteria, all the bad bacteria. It's indiscriminate. You shouldn't have it in your diet. It's too pungent. It contains these different chemicals in it that have a very powerful effect on the body. You know, a lot of these websites are Ayurvedic websites that really don't like onions or garlic in the diet in general. And there are generally no scientific links on any of these statements. They're just basically broadcast statements saying don't eat it because other websites I say I've seen say garlic and mushrooms and those sorts of foods belong to the to the underworld in you know, the devil's world and like don't eat them you'll turn into a goblin or a fairy or crap like that so I mean not much science in that kind of stuff is there but there are studies that support in fact the theory that garlic uh, in fact has got many beneficial properties in the gut and does not destroy bacteria in the gut in fact if you look at lactobacillus casei and various uh, strains of lactobacillus in fact, are resistant towards fresh raw garlic in the diet. In fact, some studies I've read in the past from various universities around the world um, support the theory that garlic is actually prebiotic in many cases and does not destroy large amounts of beneficial bacteria. Now, let's get one thing right. It, it often depends on the quantity of garlic you're eating too. If you're going to eat a pound of raw garlic a day, you're probably going to wipe everything out and you're going to wipe out all your friendships, your relationships. You're going to wipe your life out. No one's going to come near you. But if you eat a, one clove of garlic or two cloves a day mixed in with your food, that's a bit different than from eating large amounts. I do have some crazy patients in Europe that literally eat 10 or 20 cloves a day. But when you do anything crazy like that, you're going to get a crazy outcome. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking small amounts added to the diet, either raw or cooked. Several studies have shown how incredibly potent garlic is at, for example, helping to keep the blood thin, helping to regulate blood pressure, helping to keep viruses out of the blood. It's a superb food and it should be used carefully, no doubt, you know, um, as I mentioned, it's not something you're going to go crazy with. So. You will read, often read studies online supporting one thing and then other studies saying completely the opposite. Go back and have a good look at how garlic was used for hundreds of years by many different populations and the benefits they derived from this. There's no, um, you know, this is every reason why garlic is still around today. It's been used for so long and it will be used for so you know, much going into the future. And science does validate garlic as being a superfood uh, in terms of its ability to have so many positive effects on the body. I can't see it being a negative. I put garlic in the same realm as I would fresh salmon, avocados, blueberries, black currants, uh, you know, 90% dark cocoa. It's a superfood. So small amounts of superfoods consumed regularly have a profound effect on your health. Well, would you rather have garlic? or a Coca-Cola in your, in, in your life. I think I'll stick with the garlic. But does it kill good bacteria? In my opinion, no. It depends on the quantity, but the jury's still out. Thanks for tuning in. Click on the link below and get my free Candida shopping report. Thank you.